In today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to take your enemy movement in a space shooter style game or any other type of game really where you want your enemies to move in a more interesting fashion from this type of straight down movement to this type of more interesting side to side or formation kind of movement. So let's take a look and see how we do that. When the enemy is just moving straight down the screen, the only events I have in there for that are to add a force to that enemy of 90 degrees, which is straight down, and I was moving it at 150 pixels a second, and that sets the speed. And that's just the straight dropping down motion like that. Now to make it more interesting, it's really easy in GDevelop. We can go to the enemy, and I'm going to add a behavior. I'm going to use the add a behavior button. I want to add this sign movement. It's likely not listed in your behaviors. You're going to have to go to search new behaviors and then search for sign right up here, S-I-N-E. That'll sort through and find the sign behavior for you. I'm going to reinstall it. This is the same process you'll go through. I'm going to add that to the enemy. You can set its values right here if you want to. I'm going to leave those at the defaults, but I want to change ours here in the events. So for this enemy, you can now adjust the amplitude X. I'm just going to pick a value of 200. And then again for the enemy, I want to set the sign speed, let's say 150. Let's take a quick preview of that. Now you'll see the enemy is quickly moving from side to side. It's not quite reaching the edge of the screen. There's a good 100 pixels or so on each side. So you can come in here now and adjust these numbers. The amplitude of X is the distance that ship will travel side to side. And the sign speed is how quickly it'll travel from the left to the right and then back to the left again. So if I wanted this to go a little closer to the edges of the screen, let's make that 400, not 4,000. Now let's say I want it to go a lot slower. I'll make that 50. Now when we preview it, it reaches off the scene on both sides and moves more slowly as it's going across the scene. So that's it. That's the quick tip. Easily add more interesting movement to your enemies using the sign behavior in GDevelop. Just as a little side note, this also works great for moving platforms that go to side to side or elevators that rise up and down and constantly repeat that same motion. That's it. I'll see you in next week's quick tip.